Hi, welcome to MarkCycleRepairs.com. Today, having a quick look at these Avid uh, disc brakes. These are the um, mechanical ones. I've just received the box in the delivery today. You get a sticker in the box, a couple of instruction things, and this is the caliper. This is the um, BB5, as you can see from the thing here. This is one of the first um, good cable ones. I'll just take the cardboard out and you can see the pads inside. And they're quite easy to adjust. This side you have the adjustment with this large dial here, or you can use a Torque 25 fitting. So that only adjusts that one, and the cable, when you pull the cable, the other side goes in and out, and it comes with the concave and convex washers which allow better line-up. So pop it on the scales, see what weight it comes in at. 197 grams. Uh, this is fairly light, not the lightest you can get these days, uh, but still very robust and uh, good brake and um, yeah that's what it looks like and I will do another parts of the video showing you how to put it on the bike and set it up. See you in a minute, bye. Yeah, welcome back, this is the part well, we're going to replace the rear brake caliper with this one. Just need to take the old one off. This is, uh, one of these cheap Chinese ones, which doesn't really work very well. So I'm going to upgrade it to a Avid BB5. You don't always need to change the disc, but you can if you want to. Simply undo the bolts. useful to keep the washers just in case you need them as spacers and the bolts <coughs> and you can keep the bracket the same let's just check it's on tight So, and we can get it straight. And it's a bit different with a cable one to a hydraulic one because there's more movement in it and adjustment. So, yeah, as we are there, I don't know if you can tell by the angle, but it's a tiny bit angled. a bit straighter but still catching a tiny bit so it's just a matter of fine tuning this until we're very close I think we're pretty close now. Just push it to the side a little bit. Then we take the old one off, put the new one off. Simple as that. Bend the cable a bit straight. 
it down. Doesn't matter too much. It's only the bits that are inside that need to be straight. sits nicely on this curved bit here, pull it up a bit. Always good to make sure there's a little bit of tension on it, just so the lever feels more firm, so that, see that's a bit too loose. You always want a bit of tension on the cable, that way it feels nicer, and it doesn't flap around as much. There we go. All sorted. What you do get with these electric bikes is the axle sits a bit lower. So you'll notice that uh, sometimes only half of the disc touches. The um, only half the disc wears out. And this doesn't go fully up in here. Um, way to stop that is to get rid of a couple of these washers here it brings the caliper lower down and then it lines up a bit better but yeah I'll, uh, I think we're pretty good on that one doesn't seem too high so uh, yeah it's all good now that noise is just uh, and inside the wheel because it's uh, lost one. And that's how you set it up. And then we just cut it short. Cut the excess off. Put one of the cable crimps on. And we're good to go. Always try to wind it on. Right. Get it on and it stops the cable fraying. Just squeeze it on with your pliers. And there we go. That's how we fit the BB5 to the bike.